everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be doing a foundation wear test video which means I'm going to be testing out a foundation so I'll show me applying the product on my face and then we're going to do like little check-ins throughout the day as to seeing like how long it's lasting and what it's looking like etc and this is without me applying like any powder throughout the day. My skin is oily so there is a chance that it will be a little bit on the oily side of things but my skin is not as oily as it used to be when I was a teenager so it's not so so bad and usually with my normal everyday foundations my skin is actually all right throughout the day and I don't have to apply any powder maybe I just kind of blot it down a little bit with a tissue paper or even like my hands I just go like this and like it just the oils go away I don't know why but first of all you may have noticed that my hair is different I have dyed my hair and yes it is darker than it was before i fancied a change with my hair i'm not someone to kind of experiment with like different hairstyles what i kind of do is i keep my hair quite long and occasionally i will cut it a little bit last time i cut it i think i cut like this much off and it still looks really long and i like that but it for me it's just still a change although it's still long hair it's still a change for me so i still get that feeling of like oh this is different and I just don't want to cut my hair short and yeah I wanted to dye it so I've dyed it darker I kind of mix between lighter and darker of brown and that's it I'm not going to go any other color so yeah here we are and this is like my new hair color so yeah I need to stop rumbling let's crack on is that a little bit better I think I'm a little bit closer now so you can see a little bit better right I'm going to put my headband on now do you know what's funny I haven't even told you what foundation it is even though you probably see in the title of the video it is from Shop Miss A, but the actual brand is AOA Studio. That's the actual brand. But I did get this off Shop Miss A. It's literally a pound or just over a pound. I'll leave the exact price on the screen. You get 30 mil and what's in the standard foundation? I'm not sure how much is in like a standard normal foundation. I will also leave that on the screen, like what's in a casual foundation. And yeah, so hopefully that's the same. Underneath it says that the shade is ivory. So I have mine in the shade ivory and I've just read on the side, it says shake well before use, which I've not done that yet. So maybe that makes a difference, who knows? So in terms of skincare this morning, all I did this morning was I washed my face and I didn't even do my normal morning skincare routine. Sometimes I just pick one of my skincare products and think, oh, I just wanna use that by itself today. I just use this. This is the vitamin E cooling mist. So I just use this casually, no real explanation. So first of all, before I apply the foundation, I am gonna prime my skin and I'm gonna use the AOA Studio Aqua Hydrating Face Primer. And it's a very hydrating primer. So it's kind of like the normal like primer that I would use before I got this. By the way, if you haven't seen my Shop Miss A haul or my first impressions of like Shop Miss A makeup, where it was literally a 37 minute long video, sorry about that by the way, <laughs> then go and watch that. It's like the last videos on my channel from last week. So that's that applied. And then I'm also going to pop on this A Plus Primer Spray. This is just a, like a little spray that you pop on before makeup. refreshing i think primer sprays are not sprays primer prime primer sprays i think primer sprays are great for summer because they're nice and refreshing that really wasn't worth the effort of speaking and um, so let's apply the foundation i'm gonna apply it with this brush which i also got from shop miss a which i'm obsessed with if you watched my haul and that video um, of my first impressions you will know that I literally am obsessed with this brush I don't know why I just love it so I've shaken it well let's pop a bit onto the back of the hand it is quite thick because I have used this but I've not really like tested in terms of wear test throughout the day oh god lord I think I've accidentally put a bit too much on if I'm honest but it is quite thick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some on my face and then I'm going to um like rub it in and then with the excess that's on my hand go over places where I need a little bit more I don't have a mirror, what an idiot. So I'm just gonna pop this around my face. I like to do little dots because it, I feel like it just distributes the product everywhere I would like it. Cause some people just put like one dot in the middle of their face and then they just go shh, that's not me. So I've still got more on my hand that I'm gonna use after. I'm just getting my mirror. Right, and we shall blend. With this brush, you can actually like 
swirl everything around or you can like buff it in which is why i love this brush so much but it is quite full coverage as you can see like this foundation remember is a pound or thereabouts and the coverage is amazing like comparing this to other foundations that i would consider absolute trash for example um the natural collection foundation that honestly i could not tell you how bad that is it's unreal i don't know if they've reformulated since i used it because i was um very young when i first used that that was my first foundation i wish my first foundation was a much better foundation because it made me look awful like it made my skin really cakey it melted off in the rain and in the sun like we're just we're just we're just not gonna think about that so yeah back in a minute I look very ghostly now this foundation does oh I've just realized I've still got the excess on the back of my hand that could have been really bad because I could have literally just got that all over my jumper to be fair I did accidentally put quite a lot of product on and I got too much on so what should I do with this I don't want to waste it I'll put it on top and we'll just have a cakey face for the day I'm not going anywhere but I am doing a wear test so maybe the more product I apply the more oily it's gonna be who knows well, we'll see, won't we? But yeah, just bear in mind that I did put too much on, but some people apply this much, so. Oh, balls, got my hair in my foundation. And now my hair's dark, so you can see it in my hair. And it does blend on top of what you've already done quite nicely, because sometimes foundations actually like start peeling off when you apply product on top, whereas this does not do that. my face does look really pale and the shade is obviously ivory so do like bear that in mind but i will bronze and everything like that so i'll try and get it to match the rest of my skin although this is a wear test of the foundation i am also going to use the aoa concealer in the shade porcelain you get 10 ml of this which i think is pretty standard for a concealer anyway but yeah it's a foundation wear test but i suppose at it's also a concealer wear test. I think this was just less than a pound or maybe around a pound as well. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on. Only a little bit because I've literally got a cake face right now because I accidentally put too much foundation on. Also, whilst we're here, does anybody else watch Tati or watch her when she was like posting videos? Because I literally miss watching her videos so much because she inspired me to like do my makeup every single day. Like not in terms of like I aspire to do my makeup every day but it made me want to do my makeup every day because it because I was excited to do it and she's not posted like a proper proper video in 11 months so I've just gone back from five years ago and started watching from like five years ago and she's literally got over a thousand videos on her channel so I'm just gonna go back through and watch them because I don't know if she's gonna come back to YouTube after everything that's happened if you don't know what's happened just research it um but yeah Hopefully she does anyway, because, um... I need some content to watch. Also, I would like to point out that if you did use a beauty blender with this foundation, it would not look as cakey and it wouldn't be as thick because beauty blenders do absorb a little bit of the product when you're applying it, whereas a brush tends to, like, just... At, like completely apply um, the product to your face which today was not great because I accidentally used too much product but um, you know we'll deal with it that's what happens sometimes so looking at the foundation this is when the wear test starts um, it's looking okay on the skin it's obviously very full coverage it's a little bit a tad on the cakey side but that's my fault it, it, it actually looks fairly decent for a foundation that's literally just over a pound like we have to consider that here um it is looking nice and it's quite you know chewy but not you know crazily so i've had a foundation from the body shop which is just crazy dewy and i hate it I've, I've got it um in my room but do not like that um so i'm gonna powder now and then i will show you what it looks like after i've powdered and i'm using the collection pressed powder in the shade 18 ivory Okay, 
Okay, so I've now powdered everything down. Everything is looking super matte. It now does look a lot cakier, but I do have to apply the rest of my makeup and then also a setting spray and then everything will come together. So I'll see you when I finish doing my makeup. By the way, the time is currently um, ten, four minutes past 10, if you can see that um, on my phone. I'm gonna go do my makeup and then I'm gonna keep this foundation on or my makeup on till about four o'clock because I don't keep my makeup on late because then I won't be bothered to take it off do my skincare and do a face mask like I always do. Anyway, see you in a minute. So I am back and I have now done my makeup. This is what my makeup looks like. I kind of went for something a little bit more simple. Like I didn't do any eyeshadow or anything like that. Anything that is on my eyelids is just a little bit of bronzer. But yeah, I just wanted to go a little bit more simple so that we could focus on the rest of the base a little bit more. But yeah, this is my finished makeup and my skin at the minute is looking just normal. In fact, I did not use a setting spray. Back in a minute, setting spray time. I'm setting it in place with the A plus setting spray. Sorry about that. Right, now we can do the makeup check-in. Um, so with my makeup on, it is looking just like my makeup normally would. It's still fairly matte. When it comes to makeup, I like it to look matte. When it comes to skincare, I like to look dewy. I'm very strange, I know. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking at the minute. And I will film some check-ins every few hours throughout the day just to see how it's coming along and what it looks like so that if you're thinking of purchasing this foundation you will know whether to get it or not if you've got like my kind of skin type to see if it wears well throughout the day because if it doesn't then maybe you won't want to get it because at the end of the day getting a one pound something foundation may be cheap but if it's a terrible foundation then there's no point in getting it. So see you in a couple of hours. So the time is now about 11 o'clock, which means I've had the foundation on for like an hour and a bit. I have filmed another video and just tidied up a little bit. Done the flora around my flat and I'm now about to do a little mini run in my kitchen, which sounds a little bit ridiculous. Like how can you run in the kitchen? My kitchen is not that big but I'm just gonna literally be running on the spot whilst I watch a YouTube video. And I thought I would like do a check-in now to show you what it, my skin is looking like before the little run, and then I'll show you what it looks like after the little run. Running on the spot works for me, don't judge me. Um, so yeah, it's looking quite good. It's not oily at all. It's actually looking pretty decent. So we'll see what it looks like in however long my run is. So I did my little kitchen run, and to be honest, my skin is looking like literally exactly the same. Like, is that, yeah, there's a little bit off my nose, and that's because my nose was itchy, and there was like, I don't know, fiber on my nose or something, and I literally, the most gently, just tapped it like that, trying to itch it, because I wouldn't have gone itch itch. But yeah, I was just gently going like that, and yeah, it removed it like that. It's easy to remove this product, so don't touch your face when you've got this on. Um, I wouldn't recommend touching your face anyway when um, you've got makeup on, because of bacteria and things like that, and spots and everything. But yeah, so now I'm gonna go, clean my shower and then I'm gonna do a workout yeah I know technically that was kind of like a workout but I'm also gonna do a workout I'm gonna do an ab workout and also a 15 minute dance workout on YouTube would recommend so I'm gonna do those and then I will check in after that and then the next check-in will probably be the final check-in but yeah after exercise it's not looking too bad so I've cleaned the shower I've done my workout and let's look in the light so this is if we see the light. Considering I've done a workout, and by the way, I wouldn't recommend working out in makeup anyway, but considering I've done a workout, my skin doesn't look so bad. Like it feels a little bit um, oily, but that's because I obviously have been sweating a little bit. If I like pop the camera here, like from a distance, that doesn't look any problem at all. So um, I will see you for the final checking in a few hours time. So it's now getting to the time of day when I am gonna think about taking off my makeup. Got myself a cup of tea and I thought I would do like my final check-ins of what it's looking like on my face. So if I bring you up 
close. This is what it is looking like. So it has come off my chin a little bit, but not too much. It is a little bit pinky, but that's mainly from my blusher. Then underneath my eyes, like right under my eyes, like literally here, there's literally no product. And I don't know why, like did I just not apply the product there properly? I'm not sure, I can't remember, um, but I will watch this back and know. Um, so yeah, it's just completely not under my eyes and that's not usually happening. Like usually when I apply the foundation, it stays on under my eyes quite well. However, here under my eyes is like where the coverage is the heaviest and I think that's because I powered mostly under here. I always powder mostly under my eyes just to keep it set in place and that's exactly what it's done. Um, it's wiped off this side of my face because I accidentally put my face in my hand a couple of times when I was doing some uni work on my laptop. Um, so that happened so it does obviously wipe off. Oiliness wise, it's not too bad considering I have oily skin. However, it's not controlled as much as some of my other um, foundations when it comes to oils. But then again, I don't usually do workouts in my makeup. So you've got to bear that in mind as well. It did kind of pass the workout test. Um, but oiliness is absolutely fine because I do have oily skin. The only issue that I have with this foundation is probably it does look quite cakey. I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera, but it is quite cakey on my skin, which is not the greatest. And also, if I do touch my face, then product just wipes off straight away. So, in terms of like my overall thoughts when it comes to the foundation, overall, do I think that it's worth the money? Yes, because it's literally like a pound and the coverage is nice and yes, it does last fairly well. If I was to do what I normally do, which is to powder my face down maybe once throughout the day or just to blot it with my hand or something, then yes, it would be absolutely fine. But um, obviously it does go a little bit oily. I think the only real issue with this particular foundation is that it is a little bit cakey, like it's a thick kind of texture, kind of cakey, but I did apply a little bit too much so i think if you you know applied a little bit less of this then it would be a lot nicer but for the price i would 100 percent recommend this foundation if there was a foundation that was 10 times better than this foundation and only 10 pounds then everybody would buy it like it would just be sold out so what i'm saying is it's 100 percent worth the money and more because it's literally only a pound so if you want to try it you're only gonna lose just over a pound. And also on Shop Miss Aid, they have loads of other stuff as well. That's quite good to try as well, like that makeup brush that I've got and, and an eyebrow little pencil thing. Go and watch my haul or go and watch my first impressions because I talk about it in there. And there's so much good stuff on there. And also the hyaluronic face mask, get that whilst you're there. So yeah, if you are interested in trying it, then I would recommend it. But um, if you're, if you've got a really decent foundation, like there's no need to buy it just for the sake of it. But if you want to try something cheap just for like every day around the house, if you like to do your makeup like me every day, then maybe that's something to go for. Anyway, that's everything for my little video. I will see you on Friday at 9am for a for a product fails video. So fail product. So I will see you then. Goodbye.